Marcel, so I'll start with you. Yeah. Do the Raiders actually have the best QB situation in the AFC West? No. Not even close. Don't even bring this up. Um, situation. I didn't say quarterback. I, I, I'm going to say every – no, we know it's not quarterback. That wouldn't be a show. Uh, you're trying to get some controversy off the word play situation and, and being general in that respect. And I'm going to be specific while being general. If you look at who's the best quarterback, we know it's Patrick Mahomes. If you know who's the best situation, what's the best situation, it's the Kansas City Chiefs. Because having the best quarterback erases so many of your issues. And in a world where everyone has a minimum cap number, and if you have flexibility or a great capologist, you can find ways to try and exceed the cap or at least restructure your way to the top of the cap, you still have a better situation in Kansas City. If you can't afford them, why wouldn't you pay the best player and the NFL MVP? You would. So what they're paying for is what they're actually getting. They're getting someone a little less, and then they have to do a lot more around them. With Patrick Mahomes, you don't have to do the same things. In this situation with Kansas City, once you give Patrick Mahomes that money, it's going to put an onus on the organization. For everyone who checks in with the key card upstairs, executive level, you got to do your job too. Find some lower draft picks that blossom. Go out there and help us defensively in the running game. Support what we have, which is the greatest quarterback in our game today. So I look at the situation. I know what Derek Carr is and a former MVP in the conversation of MVP. But we actually have a real MVP who's going to get paid like it and help the team like it. It's Patrick Mahomes. We're talking about the Raiders' success, and I like, I like John Gruden, I like Mike Mayock, but we're talking about a 500 team here. We're not talking about a team that, that, that's lighting it up. So, okay, so success is, is being 500. I, I, I don't know if, if I'd really look at that as being, being the, the end game. And, and so I'm about to call you tonight after they win this game you when can, they're over 500 you, and we you can, can have this conversation? You, you can sure, certainly <laughs> call me because they're probably not going to win tonight. Um, <laughs> But when you look at Phillip Rivers and, and you look at his body of work, he's, he's got a better completion percentage. He's got a better touchdown rate. He's got a better quarterback rating than Derek Carr. And, and all those things, Derek Carr has enough of a body of work to, to, to indicate where he is. And Derek Carr has had some tremendous success. He, at one point, was considered in the MVP race before he got hurt a few years ago. Mm-hmm. In terms of his contract, I believe he's in the third year of a five-year deal. So next year, they're going to be talking about renegotiating if he has success. And yet, you have him at a good price, but when he was initially signed, that wasn't a high, what is it, Hyundai or whatever car you said. It was a, it was a Porsche. He was the highest paid player in the league, mm. and he'll make that, he'll make a push for that money again probably next year if, the, if, if our measure of success, especially, is being 500, who knows if they actually win, you know, some more games than that, then they're going to have to pay him, you know, I'd imagine through the roof. Mm. He most certainly is the best quarterback situation in the AFC West. And here's what I'm going to tell you. Look at your face. Pick your face up off of this table, Marcel. <laughs> Pick it up. Put it back on your face, and I'm going to tell you why you should do so. What? We know what Patrick Mahomes is. <laughs> he's the future. He's, he's, he's the man, he's right? Now. He's, he's a goblin. <laughs> but your job is connected to Patrick Mahomes. Fail with Patrick Mahomes, get a new coaching staff. It's done for Andy Reid. Kirk, curtains. Mm. That's pressure, mm. all right? You go, let's travel to San Diego. LA. Los Angeles. Don't Los do it like Angeles. That. Yeah. Don't Sorry. Do it. Don't do it he like was that. drafted. San Diego. He was drafted. What <laughs> next? You gonna say London? <laughs> <laughs> he was drafted to the San Diego Chargers. His mama called him the San Diego Chargers. I'm gonna call him the San Diego, Diego Chargers. Chargers. <laughs> you're gonna have to replace him soon. Mm. So now you're tasked with trying to figure out what do you do to replace a Hall of Fame possible quarterback that has never won the big game. All right. So that's the situation. Then you go into Denver. Don't do it. They have to find a quarterback. <laughs> Ew. All together. They yeah. still haven't found a quarterback. So then you look at this, this uh, Las Vegas uh, Raiders team. You got a solid quarterback that, that came in as a franchise-level uh, quarterback. Your GM and your head coach inherited this player. So at the price tag that you have, Matt, it's under the market value of, of a franchise quarterback. You get to play it out and see if he's a franchise-level quarterback that you should play, pay franchise dollars to, whether you have to renegotiate it or not. And if he fails, we got runway to get a different quarterback. 
If he succeeds, pay him. We're moving forward. I did it with Rich Gannon before. I, I'm doing it with Carr now. Of course they're in the best situation. You guys are welcome. Uh, 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 abu- and let me just add what? to that again. Uh, some people cowherd into this show talking about the, the Raiders' offensive line, which Stephen Ruiz gives all the credit to. They paid a lot of money for this offensive line, and it's performing at a high level. You can do that when a quarterback isn't eating up a large percentage of your cap. According to our research, I'm trusting Andy, our researcher Let's on this, the only quarterback to win a Super Bowl or the, who had the highest percentage of the cap was Steve Young at like 13%. Year one, too. Yeah, oh, one, yeah right. once you start getting above that, you got problems filling out the rest of your team. Look, I want Patrick Mahomes to be a Kansas City Chief for the rest of his career, pay him the 40, 45 million, whatever. But it's going to make it harder to have the best offensive line around him mm. and the other talent around him that it takes to be successful. I'm t- I think the Raiders have three more years with, if not four more years, with uh, Derek. Derek Carr under contract, I-, I-, I think they're in great shape. Didn't aren't they one and two in the last three games? Didn't it come down to a <laughs> yep. a, dr- a pass d- a deflected in the end zone this past? They they're one and two in the last th- three games, and and maybe I'm I'm missing something on this. And I do think they're they're going through a rebuild, and and I appreciate all those things. But they if they have a very good quarterback or the quarterback that that we're saying is a franchise quarterback, you would think that that rebuild. Would, would be happening more rapidly than it is because you've got an offensive-minded head coach. You've got a guy that you, you're earmarking as a franchise quarterback. They're in the playoff hunt right now, Eric. Okay, every team at 4-4, four and four, I guess, is in the playoff <laughs> hunt. Yeah. Yeah. So they it. took a you chance could, on bringing you Antonio say that, Brown like, in. They you, lost Burfick, they're, they're, what who they were building their defense around. They lost A.B., Th- this yeah. is going well. But now you're, you're, you act like looks, they lost him to an injury. That does look like a rapid chase to to become a Super Bowl contending team when you bring in guys like Perfect mm. and Antonio. That's Brown. like saying win now, even though we've never won. Uh, let's forecast. That's great, yeah. great assumptions. But let's look at record. And the w- reason I love record is because it's reliable. You can't change it. This guy has lost, my man. Has lost one, two, three, four, five of his six seasons. I'm including this year because he's not a winner yet. So you can say this tonight, one. We'll, we'll okay. talk tonight. He's, he's on his fourth <laughs> head coach. Fourth head coach in a, what, six-year career? Now, you say if you don't win with Patrick Mahomes, uh, you're out of there. I don't believe that to be the case. But I do know you're out of there if you have a quarterback who can't win. And Derek Carr can't win. He's won one year, 12-3, and three, and he still has a losing starting record. You take away that one year, 24-47. You give him that one year, 36-50. and 50. You know what gets your coach fired? You're, Those you're kind throwing, of numbers. You're throwing that argument point, no statistics out, to a top draft pick that had more head coaches than years in the league at one point. Not at quarterback. I don't, but I don't put that – you cannot put what you just said – Mm-hmm. On the quarterback. You have to put that on how the, the functionality the of the organization is. Come on, Marshall. I, 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 you know that. Wait, 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 wait. When you, you know into, that. When you walk into a situation when you have a franchise quarterback, they're, they're, there's usually longevity. Drew Brees, <laughs> there's longevity. You, you look at uh, Ben oh, Roethlisberger, there's longevity. You look at Aaron Rodgers, there's longevity. So the, the, they go hand it, there's hand. a difference between walking into a situation with a franchise quarterback and walking into a situation – where the quarterback is is somewhere in between. But you and you're can, hey, to hold on, hold on. What about an organization that's been in ownership transition, financial transition, as they try to get to Las Vegas? The, the, the Raiders have been in flux for the last three or four years. They haven't been financially sound uh, since Al Davis passed away. That's one of the reasons they're moving to Las Vegas and trying to get in this revenue-generating stadium. The, the, the Raiders have been trying to do it on the cheap. They go out and get John Gruden. Look, I've criticized and laughed at John Gruden. The plan is coming together. He's getting results out of Derek Carr and this, uh, this team. They're in the playoff hunt. They're better than people anticipate at this point, particularly coming out of the Antonio Brown situation. I, I love where they're sitting at contractually with Derek Carr, 
performance-wise with Derek Carr and moving to Las Vegas, I don't think we should be dumping on them. And I can't wait till tomorrow when they're five and four and we can quit talking about them being a <laughs> five and four. They not one of them the quarterbacks. Charges. Not one of those quarterbacks that you named was a part of a, a type of organization that Witt just broke down in terms right. of the Oakland Raiders. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Speak for Yourself or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.